Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone is doing good. And if you guys haven't checked out my latest videos on the channel, please go and do so. I recently just did an in-depth review on my 118 McLaren MP4-12C from Mini Champs. But as promised and as requested by a number of um, subscribers, I'm going to be showing my entire 143 model car collection. Now I've started to do some 143 scale reviews on the channel and they've um, gone down quite well. So um, a, a number of uh, subscribers have asked to see the collection, um, the entire collection. So this is what this video is going to be. So I'm going to take you guys through one by one and show you my entire 143 model car collection now it consists of about 20 25 models um, all from different brands different makes um, different cars um, but it's kind of a mix of different models um, and i'll take you through one by one uh, tell you guys the um, the brand the make and um, if i I'll, I'll be doing a um, in-depth review on all of these in the near future too so as you guys know i primarily collect 118 models but initially i collected 143 scales first um, and as i've said um, they've gone down quite well so um, let's take you guys through one by one and show you guys the collection so let's start off with uh, the pagani zonda f 2005 by Spark Models. Now I've done a in-depth review on the uh, Pagani Zonda so if you want to go and check it out on the channel please go and do so. Um, I'll show you guys all the um, little details on these 143 models. Now a, um, a good piece of advice for 143 collecting is uh, these 143 models do not lack any details like the 118 models do. They are very, very highly detailed models and just because they're in a smaller size doesn't mean um, they're not as detailed. These are very highly detailed um, models and uh, I do display them in the cabinet alongside my 118 models. Next, we have the Jaguar XJ220 by Mini Champs. Um, this one again, very nice model kind of an iconic car always the Jaguar XJ220 in the um, 90s alongside the Ferrari F40 um, but again really really nice car to have in the collection now here I have got the Maserati MC12 um, Corsa so this is the race edition to the Maserati MC12 road car again this one is Spark Models now Spark Models make quite a few different cars and they are very highly detailed models i'll also be doing a brand comparison review shortly where i'll um, pick four or five brands that i've got in my collection and i will um, go through the pros and cons of those brands and um, come up with the uh, best brand for 143 scale models that i've got in my collection um, but i've also done an in-depth review on the mc12 again so go to my 143 model car playlist and um, you can see all the model cars um, in there i've done about five or six so far but i am working my way around the um, the collection so next let's go back up to probably the only classic i've got in my collection now i do love my classic cars um, this one is a mini champs models mercedes-benz 190 sl um, now the SL kind of cars, um, like the Goldwing SL, um, are such an iconic car by Mercedes-Benz. This model is actually limited to uh, 1,872 pieces. Now a few of these Mini Champs models that I've got in 143 are limited edition, um, which is quite nice. Um, and it, all of these models come with the um, plexiglass display case and stand. I didn't buy any of that extra. It all came with the um, with the model car. 
but I do like that classic Mercedes. It's um, the only one, the only classic that I've got in the collection, but it's um, one of my favourites. Next, let's move on to Jensen Button's winning McLaren Mercedes MP428. This one is, I believe, the 2009 World Championship winning car by the Jensen Button. Um, again, very nice car. I'm not big on Formula One cars. I don't have a lot of Formula One cars in either 143 or 118 scale, but um, just because I saw this one in the shop at the time um, and I bought it. And I do like all the little details on the Formula One cars. Um, they are very highly detailed. Um, and um, I think it's quite a good model to have in the collection. So let's move back in the middle. Let's move this one out of the way now. So this one is the Ferrari Enzo. And this one is next on my in-depth review, I think, to do. This one is probably one of my favourite 143 Ferraris I've got in my collection. This is an IXO model. Um, again, I've done a review on a few of these models before. They are very highly detailed models and probably if you're looking for a Ferrari 143 scale, a good brand to consider. Um, they are very highly detailed. I'll show you all the little in-depth reviews when I, the in-depth um, details when I do my reviews. Um, but again, great model and lots of little details on this model which I like and I will show you guys in the um, near future now let's go over to the back we have the auto art signature bugatti veyron 16.4 now again this one's finished in the iconic black and blue i've also got the 118 model of the exact car um, and even the 143 scale models still come with the um, certificate of authenticity which is also quite a nice touch by AutoArt, um, just like the 118 scale models. And this one is probably one of the best 143 models you can buy, I think. The AutoArt models, like the 118s, they are really highly detailed, very nice models. Um, and again, another AutoArt signature that I've got is the uh, Koenigsegg CCX, also by AutoArt Signature. They also give you the roof um, for the model car if you want to display it with the roof on or off. But I got it in this very nice metallic orange and it is one of the best 143 model cars I've got in my collection and one of my absolute favourites. Very highly detailed. Prices of these have gone crazy as well, like the 143 model which I've got. Um, I've also done an in-depth review on this model, so I'll leave um, a link or go and check out the 143 model car playlist for all the little details in that model. Now, the model above these two is the iconic Porsche Carrera GT by Mini Champs. This one is one of 6,000 pieces. Like I said, most of these Mini Champs models um, are limited edition. And I've got it in this really, really nice red colour um, because I've got the 118 version in silver. So I just thought I'd get it in a different colour combination. Moving over to another auto art model is the uh, McLaren Mercedes SLR. This one again is a auto art model, very highly detailed, one of the best again that I've got in my collection. And it's just stunning, absolutely stunning. Uh, the paintwork on it's really nice. And you can see quite a lot of details with this model. So let's move on down here and I'll show you guys the Porsche 911 Turbo. Again, by Mini Champs, finished in this navy blue colour, very dark blue. Um, metallic paintwork, which is really, really nice. And again, like the other Mini Champs models, this is limited to one of 2,544 pieces and one of my favourite cars in real life, the 911 Turbo. Very, very nice car. And um, let's move on to another Spark models. This one again is the Mercedes-Benz AMG 
CLK GTR Roadster. Now again, very, very highly detailed model like the um, other Spark models, the MC12 and the Zonda F. Very nice details um, on the paintwork and the interior as well. And one of my favorite kind of all time cars, if you will. So I've got a few more on this other side as well, which I will show you guys. I've got the iconic McLaren F1 in their flagship yellow color. Again, by Mini Champs, one of 8,544 pieces. Very, very nice car. Um, stay tuned because there might be another McLaren joining the channel in the next couple of weeks. Um, might be, but um, I'll let you guys know later. Next is the Mini Champs models Bugatti Veyron Supersport in the world record um, color specification. Again, this one is Mini Champs and it's limited to one of 1,632 pieces. Really nice car, just like the 118 version. Um, and um, it's got lots and lots of good details on it. Next is the Ferrari F430 Coupe um, from 2005. Again, this is another IXO model. Um, I've, I've done an in-depth review on this, so again, check out the playlist. But it's a very, very nice model car. And the F440 is always one of my kind of dream cars growing up. And uh, the 143 model is really, really good. And lastly, I have got the Ferrari 612 Scaglietti from 2004, another IXO model. Um, again, good details. I've done an in-depth review on this, so go and check it out if you wish. Um, but that is kind of my 143 model car collection in its entirety. Um, as I said, about 15, 20 models and um, alongside my 118 scale collection. So let me go, let me know what you guys think, um, what model you want to see next on the 143 in depth review playlist. Um, and I'll be also dropping the 143 comparison video soon as well. So stay tuned for that. But uh, until next time, guys, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and comment. And I'll see you guys shortly for the next video. So uh, take care, guys. Thank you.